Hey everyone, it's Cassie, and today I want to show you this awesome extension that you can use to make any of your quizzes have oral accommodations. So I was thinking this would be really great for a spelling test. So the first thing you're going to do is get this extension. It's called Talk and Comment. So just I just Googled it, and when I found it, I just click Add to Chrome, and then add your extension. It's going to ask you if you, for permission to use your microphone, and just make sure you say yes to that. So I have it up here in my extensions, but sometimes it doesn't stick. If you click this little puzzle piece, you can find it down here and just click the pin so that it sticks up there. This is where you'll turn it on and off. So we definitely want it on so we can make our quiz. Now I'm just gonna type in forms.new so I can start with a new Google form. And we'll do the first question like it's a spelling test. So you can ask the question however you want. Maybe you might just say, how do you spell the word, blah, blah, blah. Or you might structure your question a little bit more rigorous. Maybe you might say something like use the word doctor in a sentence. And so you can structure it however you want. But when you're ready to ask your question, you're going to look over here for this little icon of the microphone. And then when you click it, it's going to automatically start recording. I don't want it this, so I'm just going to click X and try again. Use the word doctor in a sentence. Okay, when you're done, click the green check and you're gonna get a link to that voice note. Now these links only last 90 days. So this isn't something that you can make this year and use year after year, but it is something that is quick to make. And students, a lot of students have oral accommodations or they have special needs that you can help them this way and it's easy and quick. So. Um, if you have to redo it next year, it's not that big of a deal. And all you're gonna do is just paste it right there. The part in the parentheses that says voice note, that's the text that's gonna show up. So you might say something like, listen to the question, something like that. Um, since this is a spelling word, I'm going to change it to short answer. And um, so that's it. Let me show you what your students will see. I'm gonna click on the preview. So this is what your students will see. Listen to the question. Use the word doctor in a sentence. And that's it. They would type in their answers and just like normal and then press submit. So this doesn't only have to be used for spelling. Let's look at another example. I was going to show a math example. So here is one of our math kit quizzes, the geometry one. So I'm just going to take a screenshot of one of the questions. So there it is. Okay, so I'm going to save it so that I can use it in the form. So I'm back at question number two, and I'm going to insert that picture. So here we go. And the picture is in there. So maybe I want the student to have the, the problem read out loud to them, or maybe I want the answer choices or both. So again, it's just as easy as clicking this little microphone. Look at the poly, I'm going to start over. It does start immediately. Look at the polygon below. Which of the following statements is true? Okay, so there's the question. Now I just have to copy it and paste it. Okay, and you can change voice note if to say something like, click here to read the question. Okay, and then you can also do the answer choices that way. So I'm gonna add the answer choices here and click this again. A, line segment CE is perpendicular to line segment FR. Okay, now I'm just gonna copy that and paste that for A. And that's it. So then the student will see it like this. So they can have the question read to them and they can even have the answer choices read. A, line segment C. So that's it. It's super, super easy to use. Now this is what your students will see if they also have the extension, but I know a lot of schools don't allow students to, to add extensions onto their devices, and this works without the extension. So I'll show you what that looks like. So I'm just gonna remove the extension. Let's see, remove it from Chrome. Okay, so now, I no longer have the extension like if a student didn't. And when I refresh it, you can see what they'll see. So here you'll have a link instead of the little play button. So the link will bring it here. It'll play it from here. Use the word doctor. 
and the students can still listen to it just like um, just like before, only it's a little less convenient since it pops up into a new tab. So this is just one way you can use this awesome extension to make these um, tests possible that weren't possible, especially if you're virtual learning, or just to give that extra little added support for your students. I know there are a lot more ways that you can use this, and I bet you already have some kind of swirling around in your brain how you're gonna use it, and I would love to hear them. You can leave it in the comment. Anyways, have a great day and I will see you next time.